be talk show how you guys doing again so today's topic i'm gonna be this is gonna be short and simple so it seems similar to the previous one the previous episode 18 so why would you think your partner is cheating on you when they have joined strictly come dancing so this is the thing i always say this is thing this happened a lot of time it's it happened a lot of time the reason why i say it happened a lot of time is that it's like you know like those people that goes to truly come dancing that people from love island wish their partner with their be and with the person that they've been in love island with then they build that relationship and stuff like that but they did not know that their trust is going to be an issue outside the real world and this is a thing that people don't get. So as soon one of your partner is really dancing and stuff like that, there was this couple that I thought that for me I thought that they would never last because they would never last and and the red alarm kinda go beep 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 beep. There were so many red alarm because number one, they decided to move in together. They go in the apartment together, they go rob and this is this is the thing, when you know that you go up, this means that this relationship is not going to work. And um, first of all, and then next thing they're doing um, Strictly Come Dancing. And and the girlfriend is so, so jealous of the girl. Say, oh, why did she invite me for the training session? Why, why did she want it for herself or something? First of all, don't even, because if you're that kind of girl, that kind of said to you that you don't even trust your man. You don't even trust him. You just know him for a couple of weeks. you only been to love him for how long? For a month. And you still can't trust him. And first of all, you are the most person who's going to cheat because this person was so cheat. It's a cheater. And she was someone who would take a, she would take someone man that is in a relationship. Without thinking that the other person that she is in a relationship will not know. And she will be the one, she was the drama, drama person in Love Island. And first of all, I don't want to talk about a Love Island thing, I talk too much about it. So what I'm going to say is that, when you know that you got a, your partner, whether you're married, or your boyfriend and girlfriend, or whatever relationship you guys think that you're, you, you think it is about. And, and this person... Is saying that my husband is cheating he's spending too much time with a person he's training with for the dance first of all it's a dance competition you need to train train and train and train 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 every time because when you train you get it perfect if you don't train you're not gonna win you know you can be in the bottom three or bottom wherever it is first of all if you know that you're going to be, there'll be an issue with your boyfriend or your husband or your wife or your girlfriend, for example. It's been happening. So, like I said, I'm not going to mention any more Love Island because I'm just tired of talking about Love Island because this is the thing. This is the thing. Okay, I'm going to advise you anyone who is planning to go to Love Island. And if you're planning to go to Love Island and you're planning and then after after you've gone to Love Island and you're planning and you're planning that you would like to go to one of these dancing competitions or strictly come dancing and and you find a partner that you love and you, your partner loves you and first of all before you even go there you have to make sure that that partner of yours can trust you to know that you're not going to do something stupid or you're not going to be like you only doing dancing make sure that it's the right person because first of all i just always think that people make the big mistake the worst thing is that as soon they come out they start having an apartment together they start living together it's like this couple they decide to live together they even talk about marriage and all of that and i was like gosh is that that's too early you didn't even know each other for that long First of all, Love Island is just about just a reality show. It's not like in real life you're going to be exactly like that. No. No. First of all, before you decide to go to Love Island, make sure you got the right person in your life. Make sure that they can trust you. 
you can trust them to they put everything that you want to find in a man don't find in a man because you want them to be sexy attractive and good have a good hair and all of that girl you don't want to do that hmm so that's all guys and hope you guys really enjoyed this talk show so today is the last day of my talk show the reason why i'm saying this is because i'm gonna check so it's because so so guys today is the last day of my talk show so this is my last day so i will see you guys next year with another Mimi talk show so the rest of the month of December I will be doing some Christmas day stuff which is going to be calling the vlogmas so you guys will be watching my video I'll be uploading the video every single day which I'm already planning and I've already done that so if you guys really love to see more of my talk show and you like me to talk about something a little bit different or if you got any dilemma or any advice that you want me to give you just comment down below or you can also DM me on my Instagram I can definitely do that and and I'll see you guys next year and always remember I hope so by next year everyone will be safe and hope by next year that there will be no more of this lockdown and there will be no more of this pandemic and there will be no more of this social distancing because gosh, I'm tired. I'm tired. Anyway guys, I hope you guys have a fun and of the year. Bye.